Promoter Bob Arum says that we should not rule out a fight between Terence Crawford and Vasyl Lomachenko sometime in the future. I'll quote Bob Arum directly here. He says, I was sure if Crawford gets by a postal, he will be the next big thing in boxing. But after seeing Lomachenko on Saturday, maybe I have number one and number one A. Lomachenko's win was the best performance I've seen since Muhammad Ali. We don't know for sure if that fight will ever happen, but I'd imagine someday if the money were right, Crawford is getting a lot of confidence from his victories and I've never seen anybody with the confidence of Lomachenko. He goes into the ring absolutely sure he will knock out his opponent. So those are the words of Uncle Bob Arum. <laughs> now he is the promoter for both fighters and he's doing his promoter's job there, hyping up and trying to dangle a carrot in front of the uh, nose of the fans. But... My initial reaction to those comments from Bob Arum is it's a fight that's probably never going to happen because there's too much of a size differential between the two men. Vasyl Lomachenko is listed at 5'6", Terence Crawford 5'8", so it's only two inches, but when you're dealing with the smaller guys, a two-inch height difference is quite a lot. And obviously, Terence Crawford is two weight divisions higher than Vasyl Lomachenko currently. And he started at a higher weight division when he turned professional than Loma Lomachenko did. Lomachenko is currently a super featherweight and Terence Crawford is a light uh, welterweight. And Crawford is a very big light welterweight. Most people expect him to go up at least to welterweight, maybe even light middleweight before his career is over. So to me, it seems unlikely. I mean, can you imagine in two years time, Terence Crawford's fighting at welterweight possibly light middleweight, can you imagine Lomachenko moving all the way up there? It's possible, you can never say never in boxing and as long as they're both promoted by Bob Arum, then I guess it does remain somewhat of a possibility because Bob Arum don't have that many marquee names on his roster anymore, so maybe he would try and do a stretch and maybe organise some type of catchweight fight between the two of them. Doubtful, but you never know with Uncle Bob, we'll see how long both guys stay with him. And obviously we have to see how their careers pan out, how successful they're both going to be. My gut instinct is that Lomachenko is just a bit too small. Could he go up to welterweight? If the welterweight division was very weak, maybe he could go up to welterweight and have some success there, or maybe a couple one-off fights. If you remember, Juan Manuel Marquez is a guy who, similar to Lomachenko, is coming up from the lower weight divisions, although again, I think he's a bit taller than Lomachenko and maybe naturally bigger, but still, he came up through the weight divisions and he never really properly fought at welterweight. I know there was a couple fights there at welterweight, but he was picking and choosing who to fight at 147 pounds. It's not like he just went up to welterweight and said, okay, I'll fight anybody at this division, in this division. It, it, it weren't like that. He was picking and choosing which fights he would take. So maybe Lomachenko might do something like that in future. I don't know. Him against Terence Crawford, do you see it as a realistic possibility down the line? Who do you think would win that fight down the line? How far up in weight do you think Vasyl Lomachenko can go? Please let me know your opinions in the comment section below. Will Lomachenko go as high as lightweight, light welterweight? Would that be his limit? Or will he go up all the way up to 147 pounds? Maybe you think there is no ceiling for Vasyl Lomachenko. Perhaps you believe he's really that good. Drop it all in the comment section below. Let me know your reaction to Bob Arum's comments. Was it just the hype talk from a promoter doing his job, trying to entice the casual fans? Or is he actually serious? Will Uncle Bob do this if the situation presents itself? Since he don't have that many marquee names, on his roster. You let me know in the comment section below, people. All right? It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.